Let's now take a quick detour and talk about what's known as the uh, factorial function. Okay. Let's look at the definition. Suppose we have an integer k Okay, so k is um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. So we define the k, we have the following definition. Now we read this as k factorial right not k you don't have to yell when you uh, when you use this function right? so k factorial is equal to k times k minus 1 times k times k minus 2 times all the way to 3 2 and 1 and then uh, we have a special case where we have K zero factorial is by definition equal to one. Okay, so let's look at uh, a few examples. Suppose we have three factorial. Three factorial is equal to three times two times 1, which is going to be 6. Okay. Uh, 5 factorial is going to be equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which I believe is 120. And then 8 factorial, for example, is going to be equal to 8 times 7 times 6 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And that gives 40,320. And then, of course, 0 factorial is going to be equal to 1. So nothing too fancy about this, right? Now, you do want to be careful about uh, using the... Uh, the factorial notation. Here's an example. Does anybody know how many strawberries are there in a naked juice uh, bottle? Apparently, they told us, which is 22 factorial. Okay, fine. Now, that begs the question, how did they find this number of strawberries? Because I know that this is million. Okay, and this is a billion, this is trillion, okay, so how did they even find this gazillion no, uh, strawberries? Now this is obviously a joke, right, we all know that they meant 22. But now that you know the uh, notation and you know the factorial function, you should be really careful about when you use the uh, exclamation mark. Okay. So in this video, we looked at the uh, factorial function. Um, we look. All we need to know is the definition because we're gonna need to use it for our calculation. So uh, let's then move on to talk about the um, how to find probability for a binomial random variable.